What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the MIUI 12 on this device. I'm on the latest MSM extended ROM, this is a custom ROM of course based on Android 10 has a lot of features by Srikanth so I really really like this ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro but I'll be flashing the MIUI 12 and I'll show you how to do it. So like I downloaded all the files over here which you will need. This is the latest Orange Fox recovery. If I show you the information, you will see this is the R10.1 underscore 3 stable build of this like Orange Fox recovery. I downloaded this file. If you don't have Orange Fox recovery, you can follow this video to install. If you're on stock MIUI, you can follow that video and like flash the latest Orange Fox recovery. We have downloaded the latest MIUI 12 China beta ROM and this is a closed beta version 20.4.27 and this like rom file actually is about 2 gb or more than that and we have the nick g apps and open g apps over here this is the nick g apps basic version i'll be trying with the open g apps like nano version if it doesn't work i'll try with the nick g apps basic and i also have the magisk version 20.4 downloaded so i'll flash that just to like keep the storage decrypted so right now let's just boot into the like recovery so before doing anything, make sure you have a backup of everything of your device to your PC or somewhere because like everything might get deleted if you format data. So make sure you have a backup on a safe place. So my storage is totally decrypted. If your storage is not decrypted, you need to format data and I'll go to wipe now and I'll select Dalvik, cache, system, vendor and data, all these five things and I'll just swipe to wipe. Now as the wiping is done, let's just go to home and here I have all the files, the 9.0 based both the gapps, you don't need two of them, you just need one of them. So I'll try with the open gapps, if it doesn't work, I'll use the nick gapps. And here I have the nano version of the open gapps and basic version of the nick gapps. And of course we have the ROM file, the orange fox recovery already installed and you need the magis just to stay decrypted. So after like wiping everything, you just like select the ROM file itself, which is this one. This is based on 9.0 or Android Pi. So I'll select that and then add to Q and I'll select this Android 9 based open G apps then add to Q and I'll select the magis zip file. I mean, if the open G apps does not work, I'll use the Nick G apps. So I'll just swipe to confirm flash and it started flashing. So the ROM flashing is done. Right now it will flash the G apps, I guess. So yeah, right now it's trying to flash the G apps. Okay, so I already see an error. As you can see, it says updater process ended with error 70. So right now I'll just go back to home and I'll try to flash the Nick G apps. Add to Q, I'll also select the Magisk and see if it works. So yep, looks like Nick G apps flashed fine and right now it's flashing magisk. So I'll recommend you guys flashing Nick G apps with this, not the open G apps. Now the flashing is successful. I'll just hit reboot system. So finally we have booted into MIUI 12, but it is asking me to put the Mi account password and stuff. So I'll just do that. And yep, we have the MIUI 12 setup wizard. So right now I'll just continue with the setup. I'll select English and here hit next. And I have already connected to the Wi-Fi. I'll just continue to next. We have some privacy settings and I'll skip the step of this SIM card checking because I don't have a SIM card in the phone right now. So I'll add a pin to add a fingerprint and the fingerprint scanner seems like it's working fine. Record your greetings. I'll skip it. I'll disable all of these settings and I'll choose the classic theme over here. And let's go with the full screen gestures and it says setup complete as you can see over here you are ready to rock and swipe up to enter the system pretty much looks like android 10 kind of like home screen over here where you have to swipe up so yeah after setting up i mean and this is it we are into the home screen and yes the control center is there and looks beautiful i would say let me just quickly disable the auto brightness from here and we also have the dark mode if you want that, but I'll just disable it for the time being. Let's just go into the settings and see. Okay, so it shows the storage and stuff like this. As you can see, if you do this, it still uses the like sensors over here to show this animation. Looks really, really beautiful in my opinion. And here, if I go into the MIUI 12 version, 
I'll just select no for the automatic installation. As you can see, this is the MIUI 1220.4.27 nightly build. So pretty cool and all the animations and stuff are looking beautiful. And if I go into the all specs here, it shows Redmi Note 5 Pro. Then we have the Android version as Pi. As you can see, not quite Android 10, but yeah, we at least have Android Pi or Android 9. And here the security patch is of 5th May 2020. Holy smokes, we have security patch from future. And here we have the MIUI 12 version again and here it shows beta. The stock kernel is perf plus kernel if you are noticing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the all specs kind of thing. Let me go back and let me see the stock camera right now and if it's any different. Okay, so seems like if you have decrypted storage, you do not like need to format storage at all on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And here the front camera and stuff is working fine. In the video mode, let me see what settings you can shoot up to. If I go into the settings, so these many options we have for the video quality. We have the 1080p 30fps, 1080p 60fps, then 720p 30 and the 480p 30fps option with rear camera. So that's pretty good. And portrait mode is there, should be working fine. So yeah, pretty cool options like in the camera settings. Still, MIUI 11's camera app is good enough, I guess. And let's go inside password and security. Let's try the face unlock. So it says add face data over here if you're noticing. And right now I have to hit next. So it's done. Let's click on done. Unlock using face data. Stay on lock screen after unlocking. I'll just disable this just to show you guys the face unlocking speed. Allow face unlock when screen lights up. I will use that and let's just like lock the device. So yeah, if you notice the unlocking speed, pretty fast. As you can see, the face unlocking is really, really fast. Now, if I try with the fingerprint scanner, and as you can see, it still looks beautiful and it's really, really fast. The animation is totally like iOS that I gotta say, my power button is completely broken almost. I have no complaints with the unlocking speed with the figment scanner or the face unlock. Now in the display settings, we have all the settings like I showed on the Redmi Note 7 Pro earlier yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, you can click on this card right here. But yes, this is complete MIUI 12 and I am really happy to have the MIUI 12 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro too. And we have the special features and stuff. If I go into additional settings, we have language and input, full screen display and stuff. And of course, the full screen gestures are working fine. If you're noticing, we have also this OTG settings like Oxygen OS, I guess. And we have button shortcuts, notification light. Then we have quick ball, one handed mode and accessibility settings. And inside battery and performance, this is how it looks like. The animation looks really, really cool. And if you go into battery like consumption over here, if you want to see the graph, you can see it from here. You can see the screen on time if you are on this tab as you can see then see the screen on time and stuff from here i guess and you can see it like this okay the screen option is still there for this kind of battery settings and stuff and inside themes we have these two themes by default classic and limitless and here we have my themes option you can import themes and stuff you can download the themes if i go to the all themes section of course these are totally chinese as you are noticing so yeah, if you like MIUI themes, you would maybe you would like it. I don't use much themes, so I don't know. In the home screen settings, we have the home screen option. We can have the home screen with the app drawer. So that is really cool. Now let me go back. We have the home screen search part too. If you like want to disable that, you can do that. And you can of course change the search engine with this. But there is no Google Assistant. All right, let me go back and shake to fill options and stuff is there. Show memory stats are there and system launcher and stuff. You can change the system launcher from here if you want to. And we have the app drawer settings. You can disable like new apps adding our option and then app suggestion you can disable. Let me show you the home screen first. Okay, so if I swipe up like this from the home screen, as you can see, you can have the like app drawer over here and swiping from the left side gets you to the no notification panel and swiping from the right side gets you to the control center or the quick settings panel and here if you swipe down you get the quick toggles and if you swipe up once you get the brightness toggle over here as you can see you can adjust the brightness from here just like this 
and we have the Wi-Fi mobile data SIM card like data usage and the Bluetooth settings are up there on the top and you can edit and add more things over here I guess yep as you can see you can add more things like car mode and stuff if you want that and let's see if the play store is working so it shows me to sign in my account I'll just do that yes the play store should work fine and from this option let's just like reboot to recovery and see if we still have the orange box recovery working fine so yes it looks like we have the orange box recovery totally fine all the folders and stuff are showing up so the orange box recovery should work totally fine and for the weather app and stuff it shows really beautiful animation and that's how you flash me by 12 on your redmi note 5 pro and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel down below if you have not yet this is tiro from kd index signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now